What up everybody, so uh, I don't know if you guys saw my last video, but we went out and rescued a bunch of koi and a turtle from a uh, apartment that uh, the tenant got kicked out. So we got a tank and a bunch of supplies from that. We're going to go ahead and clean it all up and see if we can get something set up and uh, see if we can make use out of the stuff that we got uh Give you a little sneak peek here. This is the tank. And I'll go ahead and flip this around and show you. All right, it's pretty dirty. Give you a closer look inside here. And just look at that. It smells absolutely foul. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get all this stuff off and uh, get it all cleaned up. Yeah, have some bricks down here to kind of support this the stand that it's on because this table is not flat. I mean, look at that. So I wanted to make sure to get it on something flat and stable. Um, but yeah, this is what it's on for right now. Definitely temporary. Um, eventually we're going to put some shelving right here and get that 50 gallon. And then I also... Oh, excuse the mess. I'm going to cover this up for a second. Got a big mess going on trying to get everything situated. But we also have this 55 gallon right here. Looking pretty beautiful. So, uh, yeah. I'll uh, give you guys an update uh, once I get it all cleaned up. Alright, everybody. So, this is looking pretty damn clean. I even spent like an hour and a half outside cleaning out the fluval. I think it's fluval? I don't know. Filter that uh, it came with. Yeah, look at all the crap it that uh, the person just left there. So I went ahead and grabbed all the gear. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to about to set up this filter, fill it up with water, see if it all works. Look at these two guys right here. Just vibing together. Oh, you can see all those angular guppy fry too. Vibing in their tank. I love my albino corridors. They're so cool. I hope, you know, they get bigger. I've had them for quite a while and I feed them quite a bit. So we'll see. We'll see. I'll probably end up putting them in a bigger tank and hope for a growth spurt. Because right now they are only in a 10-gallon tank. Um, you know, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I just moved. My house isn't done or nothing like that. So I just have been setting up my fish room. And these guys are in my room right now just sitting in some 10-gallon tanks. But... They're definitely happy. Seem like they're enjoying it in there. Doing what corridors do best. Yeah, I really enjoy this tank. Thought you guys would want to see it. Man, the little baby guppies. So cute. <laughs> All right, guys, so that Fuval filter works amazing. It was super loud before. It didn't really work that well. Took it all apart, cleaned all the media, all the inside really well. It took me like an hour and a half. It was kind of crazy, but uh, got it all put it back together and put some new media in there. Uh, and I actually hooked up the hooked it up to the new tank that we got. So because uh, tomorrow, so today is the day that we rescued the turtle and koi i mean not for you guys but for me um or i guess it's like two o'clock in the morning so it's the next day but today or tomorrow when i go to sleep i'm gonna be uh rescuing more fish it's gonna get be getting some convict cichlids and mollies so that's why i need to set up that tank um so yeah it's looking good uh, I'm gonna let it clear up tonight because I did put a bunch of floating plants in there. Um, eventually, you know, I'm gonna re be redoing it and uh, actually aquascape it. Uh, put some, make it look very naturalistic to 
whatever fish I choose to put in there, but it's just going to be a holding, holding tank for right now. Going to be, have to medicate them, all the fish that I get. So it's just easiest. Uh, I'll, uh, show you guys, uh, what's going on tomorrow. All right, everybody. Uh, so next morning we, uh, got the mollies and cichlids in the back. We got an air stone with the cichlids. Um, the lady was super cool who we rescued the fish from. Apparently, her, you know, her son, uh, son's fish had a bunch of babies and son doesn't even live there anymore. So she just needed some help. So I took them all off her hands. You know, the adults are still there, of course. Um, but yeah, we're on the way home, about a 20 minute ride. And I'll show you guys when I release them into the tank. The pups, they're not happy, they want some love. All right, but uh, we're gonna get the fish in the house. Go ahead and check on the koi and turtles I rescued in the last video real quick, actually. So uh, here they are. All right, so we got my uh, 50 gallon pond right here or tub. Um, it's only temporary till I get something built for them, which is in the works. Dang glare let's see what we can do here i think i'm gonna just pull a little guy out check on him oh come here all right so there's a little guy he does not seem too happy seems all right though put him back down here there we go That's the turtle we got yesterday. That's the male. There's the three fish down there. And my golden koi that uh, I've had for a while tends to hide in those. Yeah, there's the other. Oh wait, that one's mine. That one's the female. That's the one I've had. That's the male. That's what the one we caught yesterday. We're not caught, but uh, rescued. Huh, okay, sorry. Look pretty similar, not gonna lie, it's just their tail. Um, but then, oh, you can see, I don't know if you can see down in there, but we actually have some fancy guppy fry. I'm hoping that uh, they'll breed in there and uh, get, you know, a little bit of a food source for these turtles and koi. So, uh, yeah, seem to be doing pretty good. This is the temporary setup till I uh, get a uh, stand for this puppy and then I'll actually go ahead and aquascape it, make it look naturalistic like these tanks right here. This is the Sisla tank to where I'm going to go ahead and uh, put all the Sisalids that are in here, the convict Sisalids into this tank right there. And grow out a little bit and eventually I'll aquascape this tank and this will become the Sicily tank but for right now I'm gonna put all these mollies in there until I get my uh, pond um, outside set up and uh, we can go ahead and move all those out there it's just you know we have the koi and the turtles and I don't want to also the fancy guppies already as well so I just don't want to add too many fish in the 50 gallon tank, you know. Uh, the, the koi are still small, but you know, just want to give them enough room. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this these fishies out. some more water the plants while we're at it too okay so I totally just decided that I'm gonna you know skip time a little bit and make it go by faster because I decided I wanted to record this whole process but I don't want to cut it out and 
you guys miss out and not see me, you know, release all these beautiful fish, so, you know, look at all the gold dust mollies, and I don't even know what the others, and some hybrids up in there, maybe some Dalmatian gold dust hybrid, that's my best guess, but, yeah, there's tons and tons of them that just keeps going, but, uh, yeah... I probably am not so going to record so the and comics. Is, uh, get these complex cichlids out and in the tank, and then I'll show you guys after. All right, everybody, we are back. Here's the cichlid tank. So, uh, the water level is pretty low. Because apparently the or the water temperature is low because apparently the, the heater wasn't working so they're just laying down there chilling waiting for the heat to come uh, I don't look too good actually let's see what we can do I'll get back to you guys so this is my first time, you know, having an African cichlid tank. I think I know what I'm doing. Um, but the heater wasn't working and I think that's the problem. I did a little bit of research and if the water temperature drops, you know, too low, then they'll just kind of go motionless. Uh, you know, the, the cichlids that were, have been in there are doing completely fine. It's just the cichlids I just added in. So I don't know if maybe I, I don't know. The water temperature was pretty similar. I probably should have just acclimated it and maybe that would have definitely made things differently, but I didn't, so lesson learned. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated on that tank. But uh, I also set up a little bit of a uh, hospital tank for a couple of the smaller guys here just so that uh, they feel a little bit more secure in there and you know, a, a less flow um, so they can just chill. And the molly tank, man, looking beautiful. I'll uh, go ahead and flip this around and show you guys. Here it is. I mean, I wish you could see how big, you know, some of these are. As big as my finger, I mean, massive. Beautiful. I'm loving it. So, yeah, this will eventually become the African cichlid tank once I get my pond set up. But uh, that's in the future. Soon, but in the future. Keep you guys updated on that as well. But, uh, yeah, so... We'll see what happens. That's just a little bit of food down there. Fed them earlier. Apparently they didn't finish it. So uh, yeah, I went ahead and turned off the filter. Water is getting heated up and we'll see. All right, everybody. So we're back and the water is warmer. And look, no more fish laying down. They're all chilling. Chilling. Now, the two babies that are in here, I don't have a heater for this, but uh, it's warm because of the light, the LED light. It produces a lot of heat for this, uh, it heats up this little, little tank. Um, I can't 
can't see any of the babies. There's a couple of them in here, but oh, let's see if we can find them. No, I'm not sure, but they're in here somewhere. But the the Molly's looking fire. So yeah, actually, so for this hospital tank, I have to unplug one of these uh, cords right here from the this tank so that it can get some light. And I wanted to do that so it could heat up the tank. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for coming along with this rescue. Uh, please check out you know other videos in the future. Planning on building a few thousand gallon pond and. A bunch of other cool stuff you know um so stay tuned so i actually moved some things around um all the mollies that were in the tank are now outside in the pond with the turtles or the tub and uh i also you know kept a few so that uh to kind of display in the tank here i'll show you guys here they are so I also have some endler guppies in here, some uh, tiger endlers, but uh, I took out the two big male mollies. I mean, the big boys are huge. And uh, took, you know, uh, also out a bunch of these, I think they're gold dust Dalmatian mollies. I have no idea, but then that one's definitely just a gold dust. I'm not sure about some of these, I mean, they have white on them. I'm not positive. You can see all that poop. Gross. I've been feeding them a lot lately, trying to get them nice and big. But then these black mollies, they're just absolutely my favorite jet black mollies. I just tripped there. But just, you know, look at this. Hold on, here we go. Look at that molly. I have no idea what that would be. It's cool looking. But yeah, so I have all these uh, Tiger Endler Fry in here. Looking pretty cool. And uh, yeah. I also, um, you know, did more research. I wasn't very smart and I thought, you know, cichlids are cichlids, but that's not really how it is. So. I am arranging the tanks by their regions. Um, so the convict cichlids are alone or kind of, I'm trying to get these two African cichlids out. There's only two left in there, um, but they're being a pain. Every time I go up to the tank, they go hide in the cave. Uh, but then, yeah, that big 55 gallon with all the mollies that were in it are now the African cichlid tank. So, it's looking pretty cool. I'll go ahead and turn this around and show you both tanks right now. So, here's the African cichlid tank. It's about a couple weeks after um, I first set it up with the mollies. It's been about a couple weeks now. And I got some plants, you know, just some uh, Amazon swords and uh, what is it called? some fern i don't know what it's called i don't know why i can't remember what it's called but anyways look at these guys there's the little baby african cichlid and i think the oh yeah there's another one right there but the rest are hiding in their caves i mean what you saw before okay so you know how there was that uh wood cave over here the wood cave and then there was that shell cave or it was it was a big old thing and there was like a little bit of a a, a coral decoration here for pe the fish to swim through well it's all still there i moved it pushed it all over here stacked rocks you know up to the top to cover it all up and it looks amazing so all of this space underneath they can swim through despite how it looks with the sand but i like that that's why 
you know, it's probably one of my favorite tanks right now. And look at that blue mystery snail. Absolute beast. He is huge. Little tentacles. Oh, there's another cichlid there. I'm not quite sure what type of cichlid that is. If you guys want to let me know in the comments, that would be greatly appreciated. But uh, yeah, this tank is looking amazing. And here I set up a 20 gallon tank for uh, smaller cichlids whenever I get them or a, uh, you know, if I get them from PetSmart or Petco or whatever, so I can medicate them. Um, but I'm not exactly too sure yet what I'm going to do with the tank, but that's what it is for right now. And I have another big blue mystery snail in there. I mean, absolutely massive. That's a 20 gallon tank. All right. Like that's, that's my hand right there. And then here is the convict cichlid tank. Um, I think I'm going to get some angelfish. I want to, what I want is there's, you know, the blue and silverish angelfish. I, I kind of want to get a couple pairs or something like that to put in here to swim around the top as the convict cichlids take their territory on the bottom. But, uh, here, let me turn this slide off real quick. It'll probably be better. There we go. I can't get those two African cichlids out. Like, look. Yeah. I put my hand up there, and they went back in. So, yeah, they just kind of camp out there. But eventually I'll get them out. I don't want these convicts to grow up and kill them or nothing like that. Because apparently convict cichlids hold grudges. That is what I've heard. That's the type of aggression they have. But then here's a uh, a platy tank. And I also have even more Endler Fry, which these are the Blue Star Endler. I think that's what it's called. But they're small, so there's no not much coloration right now. But uh, yeah, this tank is looking amazing as well. But I appreciate you guys sticking through this whole video, watching me, you know, set up this tank, save a bunch of fish from some from the, from the lady, and and yeah, I mean, we did a bunch of. This is gonna be a long video, that's for sure. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There's uh, definitely gonna be more content out there like this for me, so. If you guys like what you're seeing, and, uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. Support the channel. Support all these beautiful animals here. Be greatly appreciated. But uh, yeah, see you guys later.